Hi, it's Robert. Uh, today I'm going to be reviewing Inglorious Bastards, another film by Quentin Tarantino. And let's get to it. Like my previous video, I like to give my rating first um, and then just justify it as I go. Um, Inglorious Bastards, I would probably give it about uh, 9.25. Out of ten, I really enjoyed this movie. I've seen it multiple times. I just rewatched it for this recording, and I I remember watching it when it first came out on DVD with my cousins, and we just laughed so hard at certain scenes, like when the guy comes out of the little cave and he just smacks the Nazi on his head with the baseball bat, you know, just wails on him. Um, and spoilers, if you haven't seen the movie by now, uh, the very end when they're burning down the cinema and the two American soldiers are shooting everyone in Hitler's box and then they're shooting Hitler and then like they cut away and cut back and they're just spraying him in the face with bullets and you just see his face get so beat up and torn um, those are like my two favorite moments from that movie you know that I remember very distinctly I remember thinking when I first saw this movie when I was I was probably like 13 and I was like man that's not how it went down, you know, this movie has it wrong, and little did I know that's how Tarantino would start doing, you know, his more recent movies, he does his own twist and ending on historical events, like Hitler's death, for one, and his most recent being Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. You know, right, right from the very beginning uh, of this movie, it's all Tarantinoisms, you know, you have the great dialogue in that opening scene, Christoph Waltz, you know, I think this is his first movie he did with Tarantino, and then he did Django, I think those are the only two he has, but, you know, he just steals that scene in the beginning when he's talking to the, to the dad of the, the late, of the family, and, oh man, I don't even know what to say, I'm speechless. Um, and then right, right when he's just tricking, you know, the, the Jewish family underneath the floorboards so that he's leaving, and then they just shoot up the floor, and you have Shoshana running away all bloody, you know, that's another thing Tarantino does really well is the blood. I love Brad Pitt in this movie, you know. I feel like he works really well with Tarantino, the couple movies he's done as well. You know, the, the story of this movie just moves along. It's not, I don't feel like there's any one scene in particular that it just drags on. You know, the opening scene doesn't drag on. It's a long time, but you're so invested in it because of the dialogue. And one of the best scenes in this movie is when Hans Landa is... Um, talking to Shoshana when they're in uh, that cafe restaurant and he is just like talking and talking and she's getting increasingly uncomfortable in that situation because you know she's sitting across the table from the guy who killed her family and who wanted to kill her and man that, that dialogue in that scene he he kills it in that scene, you know, and like he makes her wait even longer because you know he he makes her stay there longer because he wants some cream for his what was it um his strudel like so she's there like what fifteen twenty seconds longer than she wants to be you know she doesn't want to be there in the first place. And she's just increasingly getting uncomfortable. And you can just feel that. Like I, I love how Tarantino just writes that in there. 
just his style, you know. He's always heavy on dialogue, but that that scene, it makes you uncomfortable. It makes you feel like you're sitting across from the guy who's killed your family and you know you, you can't do anything about it she can she can't say anything you know like it's a good thing you know they're never at the point where in the beginning of the movie where it's like he can recognize you know, her he just sees her running in the distance so there's no way he can see her up close and be like aren't you that jewish girl I, whose family i killed um but yeah that scene is nuts nuts and i feel like every scene like even the underground bar scene when they get found out that um uh that they're basically spies they're not actual nazi soldiers uh michael fassbender's character he does three the wrong way instead of the german way with his hand i think he does this but it's supposed to be like that um, so that's the way the Germans did it, so, um, or it could be backwards, but, you know, that scene, that's such an intense scene, you know, and it doesn't feel, like, it's a pretty long scene, and it doesn't feel long at all, you know, the irony of, um, the Von Hammersmark lady saying, you know, Germans have a bad ear for Italian, and then you have Brad Pitt in the most American accent trying to speak Italian, and I, th I know, I know she says Germans have a bad ear for it, but I mean, come on, like, at that point, he's, he's basically speaking English to them, you know, and I think that's, like, one of the also most funniest scenes in that movie is just when Christoph Waltz comes up, um, and he immediately kind of, like, well, he already knows at this this point, but he, um, he's just kind of toying with them, you know, and since he understands Italian, he is speaking to Brad Pitt's character in Italian, and Brad Pitt does not know a lick of Italian. Um, even when it comes to his name and, uh, Christoph Waltz is talking to his other two cameramen and he is like, they pronounce their names in Italian when they are the ones who know the least Italian supposedly. And I think that's just hilarious. And I feel like they could have picked some easier names, but Brad Pitt just going, Gorlami, you know, like, you're not helping your situation, I didn't feel like the movie was too long in general, you know, as I said, the scenes just kind of flow, once you're in it, you're there, and it's like, there goes 10, 15 minutes, and you didn't even think about it, because, you know, you're just so, like I said, you're so invested, I don't know what, if there's anything I actually dislike about the movie, I know I gave it just over the edge compared to Django. I gave I changed my mind at the end and gave it a nine. Um, I, get, I think I said nine point two five for this one because I give this one the edge just because it has that little bit of nostalgia factor, and I remember watching it. So that's pretty much why I think it beats out Django because I wasn't. I just remember having a history with Inglorious Bastards compared to Django. You know, this was yesterday was the first time I ever watched Django and Chain and Inglorious Bastards. I've watched since it's come out a couple different times. You know, I've, especially after I've gotten older and you know I understand more about film and Tarantino, especially of how he is, how his style is. Um, I've come to appreciate it a lot more, and I just think that's why, you know, it's, I think Glorious Bastards was my actual first Tarantino movie, and I, I feel like, because thinking about it now, that kind of holds a spot in my heart, 
and I'm a big fan of like World War Two, so I think just those two things, you know, kind of gives it gives it the edge over Django. But Django's a great movie. Um, and I think that's it for this review of Inglorious Bastards. You know, kind of got sidetracked a little bit. Um, but coming up, I'm gonna start reviewing episodes 1 through 8 of the Star Wars saga. I am not going to do Solo or a Rogue One. Rogue One? A Rogue One? Rogue One, I'm not going to do those two movies. I'm just going to do the episodic films. Um, because on the f- May, May the 4th is going to be um, the release of Rise of Skywalker on Disney+. Plus. So I'm doing, I'm going to release the next eight videos are going to be all about Star Wars. And then leading up to number nine, The Rise of Skywalker. Thank you guys for watching. Um, Like I said, my next, well, technically nine videos are all going to be Star Wars. I might try and record something else in between here and there. Um, If you guys have any suggestions, let me know. Uh, Leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the page. Thank you guys for watching.